Facebook Messenger is not something I recommend for reaching out because there's so many better ways to do it. Mostly my outreach focuses on cold email, but I have gotten clients through Facebook Messenger and I'm constantly pinged by people on Facebook Messenger. So in today's video, I wanna dig into a message we got recently from a web development company that wants to do an agency partnership and is doing everything wrong in their outreach. So let's dig into the message and see what we can improve. So here's the message that we got. Hello, I represent Peaked Digital Media, a crossbreed web application development center plus creative agency based out of India. So nobody's reading this, first of all. And what I wanted to do today is improve this. So let's pop this over to a Google Doc. And you can download this, by the way. There's a link in the description below. Let's put it over in this Google Doc and see what we can improve. Hello, hello. So the first thing is, one, don't do this. I get this a lot on Facebook where someone will just say hello with nothing. And so I guess he saw the error in his ways and he responded with the whole message after. But rule number one here, if you're doing Facebook outreach, don't ever just say hi or hi Alex or something like that. I, I get messages like this all the time. It's so annoying and I don't know what to do with them because I'm not gonna respond and start this whole conversation. But this is the exact opposite meaning hello by itself is too short, doesn't say any context, doesn't give any reason to respond back, but hello, I represent Peak Digital and going on for paragraph after paragraph is too long. Here's a good test you can put through your messages too. Where would you stop reading? So I stopped reading, hello, I represent Peak Digital Media. That's it, you know? <laughs> I, I stopped reading right there. So instead, let's do something like this. First of all, remove the second hello. Um, hey Alex. Let's assume you're reaching out to a business. One, I would do some research on the business itself so you know the founder's name or you know the exact person you're talking to. So let's assume you did that for Experiment 27. You found out I'm the CMO or maybe you're talking to Robert. Let's say you're trying to talk to the CEO. Hey Robert, huge fan of X27 is the initial. And then what I'll do is go over to the website of the company for agencies and for agency partnerships specifically, I found that calling out the past clients is something that works well. Hey Robert, huge fan of X27. Love that you've worked with Applado. Even something as simple as that. And then let me digest this so I can figure out what they're doing. So they do web development, digital marketing, no design, it looks like. They don't do design. YouTube ads, website development, which they have web applications and website development. So I'd pick one of these two based on what you can offer. So for instance, Peaked Digital Media is reaching out to a marketing agency. And so there are two strategies you can approach partnerships with. One is you want to do the work of the agency that you're reaching out to and you want to do it for cheaper. I wouldn't hit them with both of those pitches at once. I would assume what they want and then pitch them whatever that is. So for us, we're a marketing company. I'm assuming we're already great at marketing, so let's pitch web development. Hey Robert, huge fan of X27, and I love that you've worked with Applado. We do web development, and it would be great to talk about a potential partnership. Do you build websites for your clients currently? There's a message. Hey Robert, huge fan of X27 and I love that you've worked with Applado. We do web development and it'd be great to talk about a potential partnership. Do you build websites for your current clients? Been in the business for 50 plus years. This is what he says. Cumulative experience of 50 plus years. First of all, cumulative is spelled wrong. Cumulative experience of 50 plus years, I would say something that is more realistic because the internet has not been around for 50 years. And I get that he's saying cumulative experience, but I would say how long you've been in the business. Been in the business for 15 plus years. And then that's it. No thanks, no sign off of your name because what this will look like is, Hey Robert, huge fan of X27 and I love that you've worked with Applado. We do web development. It'd be great to talk about a potential partner. Do you build websites for your current clients? and I would put this here. So this is another thing when you're writing your outreach scripts, sometimes things that look good in the Google Doc don't look good in the actual place they're gonna be seen. So it's always good to write or rewrite in that place. Hey Robert, huge fan of X27 and I love that you worked with Applado. We do web development and it'd be great to talk about a potential partnership. Let me switch these around. 
And this is another part of writing emails, it's reading it out loud, going through it again and again and just trying to get it perfect. It would be great to talk about a potential partnership. We've been in web development business for 15 plus years. Do you build websites for your clients currently? Hey Robert, huge fan of X27, and I love that you've worked with Applauto. It would be great to talk about a potential partnership. We've been in the web development business for 15 plus years. Do you build websites for your clients currently? I'm not asking for a meeting here because this is Facebook Messenger, and Facebook Messenger is meant to start conversations. So what I am doing here is asking a yes or no question because I know Robert here, CEO of X27, is busy. And if somebody's busy, it's better to ask them a yes or no question. So he'll either say, yes, we build websites or no, or not interested, which is also a possibility. And then from there, he'll say yes. And then you'll be like, oh, cool. We can do it cheaper. You wanna hop on a call? Or he'll say no. And then you can say, you ever thought about building websites for your agency? We could do it pretty cheap. You ever thought about adding website creation as a service? It would really help your marketing clients. Just stuff like that. Go back and forth. This is Facebook Messenger again, so it's really conversational. If you want this script, we've got it here. I'll also put their long script if you wanna know what not to do. What not to do right here. Uh, and that's down in the description below. If you wanna work with me on your messages, you can book a consult over at experiment27.com slash consult. If you want us to do outreach for your agency, you wanna meet with billion dollar brands, go over to experiment27.com. That's what we do all day. If you wanna buy this hoodie, if you want this sick beast hoodie, that's over at wohello.com. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will talk to you another time. I'm Alex Berman, thanks.